Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. We do daily content on this channel where we talk about different homebrew, how to install different plugins, different emulators and things like that. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I wanted to take a look at this awesome homebrew game for our PS Vita and it's called Zombie Bound Reloaded and this is basically a Nazi Zombies a homebrew game uh, from Call of Duty and it works just fine. This is one of the most polished homebrew games I have ever played and it is so good and I wanted to share with you this awesome homebrew. So. Uh, let's take a look at it and obviously you must be running custom firmware and I'm currently on 3.73 with H on core 2 and it's running just fine. So when we start the game we have a map selection which is nice. We have farmhouse, abandoned store and the hospital which is locked. And what does that mean? Looks like it costs us 5 gold and I currently have 24 gold and that's very interesting. And you can obtain gold by just surviving a certain amount of rounds and just playing the game. You can just uh, start accumulating gold, which is nice. And we have a store here, which is interesting. Let's take a look at that. And here we can purchase different weapons to show up in the lucky crate or the mystery box in this game. So the revolver is 70 gold. This one's 100 Uzi MP 5K. So it's nothing too crazy, but I think it's a lot of fun. And I've always loved the zombie survival shooting games. So let's take a look here real quick before we begin the installation of this homebrew. And it's fairly easy. All you have to do is just download the VPK, uh, throw it onto your Vita, go to your Vita shell and install the VPK. But I'll walk you through it as always on how to do that. And I'm going to turn off the lights here real quick so you guys can get a better look. It is kind of dark. And it plays fairly good. It's going to be hard to play on this stand here. If you're interested in purchasing one of these cool stands, I do have a discount code that you can use to go out to that website and purchase one if you'd like. And just make sure you let them know that I sent you. Oh god, I'm going to die. Yeah, they don't really start you off well here. The farmhouse is a little difficult. You really got to know your way around this. And I'm dead. Yeah, it's going to cost 950. It's one of the harder levels just because... Oh, yeah, I'm going to die. Yep. And there we go. And that's basically the game. But I would like to show you more of the gameplay later on in this video. So... Let's go ahead and begin the installation. Alright, first thing we're going to do is go to our beta shell, open that up. And we want to enable USB connection. Go to start and make sure your select button is on the USB option. And here we go, let's press select. Now we can connect our cable to our beta and then go on to our PC and download the VPK. Click on the first link in the description and that'll take you to Vita DB. And here is the Zombie Bound Reloaded version 0 0.21. And you want to click on the Download VPK button down here. So click on that and it'll begin downloading the file for you. And you can see some cool screenshots here. Here's the author. It was Vita Hex Games. They did a wonderful job on uh, building this pretty cool game for us so once it's done downloading we want to show in our folder let's minimize that and here is our zombie bound reloaded VPK let's open up our Vita drive our USB drive and I like to have all my VPKs in one folder and I have a folder called VPK here and that just keeps it all organized and efficient and if you're not like that you can just drag that onto the root of your USB drive for the Vita 
and it's about 150 megabytes and it should take uh, like 20 30 seconds and I already have this so there's no need for me to copy it onto my USB drive here so now once it's done copying we can go back on our Vita and install the game so here we are back on our Vita and we want to find that VPK and my folder is going to be in the UXO folder so let's enter that find the VPK folder there it is and find the zombie bound reloaded there it is let's begin the installation do you want to install this package say yes and this package requests extended permissions would you like to continue the install say yes and it will begin installing the game onto your Vita and it shouldn't take too long I'd say a couple minutes or so alright so once it's done we want to go home close out Vita shell and now you should see a new app called zombie bound reloaded with a zombie eye so let's open that up here we go Vita Hex Games thank you guys so much for this lovely homebrew game and we're gonna have a better way to record this gameplay without the lights on my cheap lights on made with unity and there it is beautiful so let's start this game press x to start uh, let's add some audio the farmhouse is a little difficult so i'm gonna go to the abandoned store here and check it out now i lost all my gold loading Here you have a lot more space to kind of roam around and kill the zombies. But the maps aren't too big. They're uh, they're decent. But yeah, it's nothing too crazy here. And oh, we got one guy. And your pistol has infinite ammo. So the first weapon you start off with it has you can see it just keeps reloading but it's not as powerful right so and if you change weapons that pistol is will always stay with you so you can only hold two weapons the pistol and another one you'd like to uh, purchase or whatever and if you did decide to purchase another weapon your second option is going to change not the pistol so and that's one thing I noticed that's kind of lame is that I can't have like two automatic rifles or whatever um, and I'm stuck with the pistol and it's just like a waste of I wish they could fix that maybe there is a way to remove it if someone could let me know in the comment section that would be great because I don't know how the hell to get rid of the pistol and I've put a couple of hours into this game nothing too crazy nothing too extensive but I'm pretty sure it's very easy and simple to, you know, test that out, right? Just in theory, if I'm holding two weapons and I switch out with the pistol and purchase another weapon, that pistol should be swapped out with that weapon I'm purchasing, right? And you got to be careful because when they drop, they will try to grab you. And I'm just going to go through a couple rounds here with you guys and just talk about a few things. And there's that guy, he's dead. There's wave two. And you can rebuild by holding square. And each shot and each time you uh, build, each board is worth 10 points, I guess. So if I shoot this guy, it's at 1540, 1550. So each shot towards the zombies 10 points oh crap where did this guy come from let's open this door not a good idea because i don't think the mystery box is out here is it 
But yeah, there is a mystery box. It's like the loot crate or something like that. Where the hell is it? Is it even... Oh, there it is. Uh, but I need at least... I believe it's a thousand points to access the uh, mystery box. And one thing about the mystery box is it will only hold the weapons that you purchase from the store. So you have to play this game and survive certain amount of rounds and just keep playing it, keep playing it and purchase all the weapons. And they're kind of expensive because I played, I played this game for an hour and I've only gained like 20 gold and that's not enough right an hour is like that's crazy um but yeah let's just take a look at that mystery box before we do anything else and you can't throw any grenades or anything like that you don't have any other weapons besides the the guns that are on the wall and things like that and the ones on the wall aren't too bad there's that shotgun there that one's not that great though. Uh, there is a rifle that you can purchase. For me personally, I enjoyed the Nazi zombies better than this one because there was a lot more options to roam around and also a lot more weapons to mess with too. Um, yeah, there's way too many of them. And you had a chance at the ray gun, so you can't. Ray gun is like life. Ray gun is GG right there, right? Uh, if you don't have a ray gun in your game, it's like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, let's go to the mystery box. Here's the AK. There's a nice automatic weapon there. And you don't even have to be near the box to swap out the weapon, which is crazy. Check this out. So, I already grab it automatically. That's not fun, because I could just, like, hit it and then run, right? It's not really... Sorry if I'm moving this too much. It's not that great. And I hate this weapon that they provide for you on the first time on in the mystery box. It would have been cool if the store had different maps. I think they should have done more maps. Um, maybe different type of zombies you can buy, like skins for zombies or... You know, there's different minions or like you have other characters attacking you or something. I don't know. I think they just should have uh, focused on other other items for the store instead of the weapons because that's stupid. You want the players to play more. You want them to go through the mystery box. You want them to get that elusive weapon that you can only get. You know, it has a really... Um, low RNG and but that's basically it for this video guys if you have any questions as always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible oh yeah so you can press start and this pauses the game you can resume or quit the game uh, in order for you to get the gold I believe you have to die so I I've quit the game and I've seen my gold at zero I'm not sure why uh, so whatever I guess you just have to go through the whole process of like how many waves you've done how many zombies you killed and things like that so yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching any questions as always comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot with that algorithm take care guys and I will see you on the next one